Hello and welcome everybody to this uh, tutorial about how to create CNC machine in SOLIDWORKS. Here is Henry Gigan, mechatronic engineer. So welcome everybody to this uh, fourth tutorial about how to create a CNC machine. Uh, today we're going to create an important uh, piece which is the um, screw, motion screw for the carriers. And also we have to create uh, the motor holder and the connecting sleeve. So we're going to begin by the easiest uh, part, which is the motor holder. We go in new part, sketch as usual, face plane and we create the center line. Uh, and then we have a rectangle width uh, like uh, 25 plus 2 it's 27 high about uh, 40 okay and then we're gonna mirror this shape to obtain the full part face okay we have to trim with trim to closest the center line okay we have to create uh, a hole for the motor shaft diameter about eight and is far from the top The distance is about uh, 18. Okay, we have the holes for the screws of the motor, circles, circles are all about uh, 2.4 for the whole motor paste uh, to the center uh, with a distance of 14 spaced from the top uh, with a distance of 4 ok and uh, the other hole the same direction but in the other side 2.4 spaced with 28 from the other hole ok and now we have to mirror symmetrical Okay, the first face is finished with these dimensions. Now we quit the sketch, we exit and we extrude with a thickness of 2 millimeters. I remember that it's a sheet uh, metal part just to hold the model. Okay. And then we have to create the side face. So we we'll go on the side surface here in the floating menu. We choose sketch. We go normal to control plus eight. And we're gonna draw some shape. Okay, we first we draw the uh, rectangle from the upper corner down to uh, 40 between this side and the bottom. It's uh, 15. Ok, 
okay 15 the width is about 35 okay and here we have uh, just draw a segment and you will give it a distance of let's say twelve and an inclination of sixty degrees uh, so we have to uh, make the segment go till the end so we click and drag this point until it becomes uh, coincident with this uh, other segment here we delete this relationship we can, we can uh, oh it's because it's uh, 60 it will always come to this point, so no problem. So uh, we still need to put the uh, holes, side holes, to be able to hold this uh, motor holder to the chassis. So some points here, some circles of the holes 2.4 and uh, gonna draw the other points and put a uh, distance from the other side so 2.4 distance between them is 25 and the distance between this hole and the side here is 5 okay so we have to draw the two other holes beneath here with smart dimensions always 2.4 2.4 and the distance between the uh, this hole and the bottom uh, is uh, 3 3 millimeters the same for the other 3 millimeters and the distance between the two line of holes is 10 10 also here so if you, if you didn't follow these are the dimensions that we must uh, put okay now we have to quit the sketch and extrude we extrude uh, to the inside because we must keep this distance about uh, 54 so uh, thickness of 2 so how are we gonna draw the other uh, part without having to repeat all the steps we have to create a center plan so we go in reference geometry plan and we choose this part the distance from this uh, face to the plan is uh, 54 uh, half of 54 so it is uh, 27 and we put flip here so it goes in the other direction and you can see the plane is at the, uh, the middle okay 
we have our middle plane we go in mirror here it's a mirror but for 3d parts the plane is already selected we select it if it's not and we choose feature to repeat the uh, boss extrude and we click ok good now we have our full part we hide the plan here and if you like it we give it a color on the gray okay we have now our motor holder we save the part I'm gonna call it model holder uh, so we go up next to the um, important part which is the screw so we go new 3d representation new part always on sketch paste plan and we draw a circle uh, the diameter is about 9 ok we exit sketch and we extrude this 9 millimeter for a distance of 2070 that's too tall okay so uh, then we're gonna make a small shoulder to be able to assemble the screw to the base small shoulder we select this uh, face here and we go sketch we can only do sketches on plane surfaces not on cylindrical surfaces okay so we do uh, the first uh, circle which have the same diameter as the cylinder and the second one a little bit further and with small dimension we give it uh, 11 okay the exit sketch we are now uh, able to do the uh, shoulder surface we go on extrude we choose an extrusion of 2 we sweep the direction and we go uh, we have to do an offset so it will not be uh, from the first surface here the offset is about 5 5 mm of offset and we flip the direction and we click OK so now we have our shoulder uh, next we're gonna create the uh, fillet the, the screw is basically a cylinder with a fillet OK um, we create a plan further from the top we flip here and we put 31 so our plane is far from the top for a distance of 31 we're gonna choose to draw a circle on that plane we select the plane and in the floating menu go sketch so we have to draw a circle on that plane with a diameter of 9.6 9.6 okay we exit the sketch and as the sketch is selected we go in curves and helix and spiral okay this helix is uh, gonna allow us to draw the swift cut that will uh, create our fillet 
on our screw uh, we change the height to 146 and 30 uh, revolutions we keep 30 revolutions start angle 180 ok we click ok now we have our helix ready still need to uh, create the sketch that will uh, be cut so we select uh, the right plane it will split our screw vertically to two so uh, we click on it and we go on sketch uh, better have this side uh, at the left so we're gonna create the shape uh, of the fillet you go in here you create a small rectangle and a center line coming from the top of uh, this uh, shape here the center line ok the width of the shape is about 4.8 so 2.4 from this side and 2.4 from the other side we trim the uh, segments that uh, not going to need ok now we have the shape complete we want we trim the uh, segment that we do not need and we're going to create a triangle uh, segment by segment triangle and this triangle needs to be uh, for distance uh, to the middle we have first to create the middle uh, line that is the x the axle of our uh, screw ok and the distance of 4 from this axe to the tip of the uh, to the edge here 4 ok but uh, these need to be more uh, sharp let's say uh, here I'm gonna see if we can do a, a relation selecting control and the shape no relations available ok no problem we do the same to the other side or we we'll choose mirror from the center line and the segment here we delete the previous uh, segments we do not need the only important things here is the distance of 4 between the tip and the axle and the width of the shape is uh, 2.4 uh, multiplied by 2 ok another uh, important feature is the beginning of the, uh, the shape that starts uh, from a distance of 33.4 from the tip ok now we have some constraint uh, constraint uh, shapes ok but we have to be sure that uh, the fillet is going inside our shape so it, can, uh, it will be uh, carried with uh, the fillet once we begin a uh, swift cut so now uh, we 
choose suit cut and the profile is the shape that I've drawn and the path or the guide is our fillet so uh, the preview is in uh, yellow here we can see that uh, a fillet will be created we click OK mm -hmm. good now we have our fillet ready Uh, we choose to hide the plan and here we need to do uh, some uh, cut to be able to assemble the, the screw with the engine we go on this uh, surface normal and we choose a sketch we're gonna draw a circle Six point five and another circle inside the cylinder. We click OK. We go on extruded cut and the cut will be about four dips. Okay. Uh, now we need to put another uh, hole, side hole, to be able to assemble the screw with the pin to the uh, motor axe. We choose either the top plane or the right plane. And we draw a circle. That needs to be uh, aligned with the center point. This diameter is about 1.2 and is spaced from the tip with a distance of 1.5. Okay, we exit sketch and we uh, extruded cut from both directions and we must uh, increase the distance so the hole uh, is visible ok <coughs> our screw is ready now if you want you can uh, give it a color shiny ok now we save it, we put uh, screw 1, because there will be more uh, smaller screws for the other carriers of the machine. Ok, uh, thank you everybody for uh, following and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.